Hey, welcome back to Vlogtober day two. My voice hasn't warmed up yet, so it's all, but it's fine. Um, it is 7.38 in the morning. I woke up, honestly, TMI, but took a, a real big poo, because that happens. Um, and I usually try to go to the bathroom before I weigh in. Um, so then I weighed in and the scale said 178.2, which is like a whole three pounds less than yesterday. So I have a few theories. Uh, one is that, you know, as I mentioned, I've been eating a lot of carbs. Carbs generally tend to hold more water weight in you. So really most of this is just water weight coming out since I ate so few carbs compared to normal yesterday. Um, however, I still feel good. I slept pretty good. I slept 7 hours and 15 minutes last night, so I'm happy with that. Right now I'm just stretching out because my muscles are sore from yesterday. I'll probably hit the gym for some cardio. Y'all, it's so cold. It's 46 degrees. It's not warm enough for just leggings and barefoot shoes and a t-shirt. I have a jacket on too, but it ain't doing much. Um, yeah, on my way to the gym. doing more of a slow jog mixed with some like speed walking stuff I don't know I was on the treadmill for like 30 minutes um but kind of took it easy since I'm a little sore from yesterday yeah um it feels good sweat a lot so the same protein shake as yesterday except I used almond unsweetened original almond milk instead of the coconut milk and I realized it's a lot thinner and then I remembered that I used a cup and a half of almond milk, uh, whereas yesterday I just used one cup of coconut milk. So yesterday's was a lot thicker, but this actually has five less calories um, and the macro ratio is a little different. Like it has a little bit less carbs and fat, um, but the same amount of protein. So yeah. Either way, it's super tasty. Should be a pretty good lunch. Uh, I wanted to just kind of address some things that's been coming to mind as I've started this series is that this is the first time that I'm really being super like open and transparent about like my body. I think this might be the first time that I've actually like declared my weight on the internet. I don't think that I've done that before which is you know, kind of a big deal. Uh, it's freaky for sure. I think it's important more than anything to just be honest about it. And I think part of my purpose with this is to be an example to other women and girls that struggle with their weight. Um, but I really want to enforce that BMI is kind of just like bullshit. Like, let's just call it what it is. It's based on averages of heights and weights of a non-representative group of people from 
decades and decades ago and it doesn't actually take into account muscle mass or anything like that. It's literally just a ratio of height to weight and it's really not accurate, especially for athletic women. So that's just like really something important that I need to keep reminding myself of because my whole life I've been overweight more or less. There have been a few times when I've been in a normal BMI range uh, but those were times where I was eating less than 500 calories a day and working out for a couple hours a day and it was very unhealthy and unsustainable. But I was in the right BMI range, so that's good, right? No, um, it's just important to understand that you can be at like an overweight BMI and still technically be healthy because what it really comes down to is body fat percentage. And I kind of encourage anyone who's uh, unsure about anything like that and not super confident in their weight and not sure if they're healthy or not to get a scale that can tell you your body fat percentage because it's just kind of such a game changer really. It can so much in having a peace of mind of like, okay, no, I, I do have, because, okay, there isn't such a thing as big bone. Everyone's bones are more or less the same, um, like size, if they're the same height and things like that. And yes, there's a matter of bone density, but even like most people's bones weigh less than 10 pounds. Um, it's not that big of a factor. There's no such thing as big bone. However, there are more athletic and more muscular people. Um, there are people who tend to have bulkier muscle. There are people who tend to have longer, leaner muscles. And there are different body types and that's important to remember. Like there's probably no way that I'm ever going to look like a Victoria's Secret supermodel because I have a lot of bulky muscle. Um, especially on my legs and my arms a bit. Plus, I'm only five foot five. They're usually at least five ten, I think. And just those proportions are just never gonna look the same on me. Like even if I got down to a similar waist size, it would just look very different. Um, so, so it's weird because I am into body positivity but I also want to change my body because I'm not completely satisfied with the way that mine looks. I think that my body could look better than it does right now. Um, I know it has looked better than it does right now. And so I just want to see if I can achieve that through healthy means rather than starving myself and exercising incessantly. All right, so I made it to work. I'm gonna go inside. I realized I have a lot more to talk about, but it's gonna be a really long video, so I might just kind of spread out my topics over the course of this month. There's gonna be a lot to work through personally and just my grievances with the world and the fitness ind industry and my experiences so far. There's gonna be a lot to come this month, you guys, but I gotta go to work right now. Welcome back to my car. Um, and my commute home. So, yeah, I realized I didn't <laughs> get basically any footage today. Um, I was kind of just in the office most of the day. I did take my post-lunch walk and went down to Starbucks, got a little, like, four seconds of that. Um, but the street that I had to walk down to get there was so loud and so noisy that I decided I would just wait until now to kind of give you guys some thoughts and updates. So since it was a double star day, I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna get myself something. But then I'm like, wait, what the heck can I get that's like not super high in carbs and gonna throw off my macros? So I decided to go for a venti black tea, no water, almond milk, sugar-free uh, cinnamon dolce syrup and sugar-free vanilla syrup. 
and it was delicious. I do not regret that whatsoever. My only regret is not being able to record anything all day, but that's fine. So yeah, I'm headed home now and I have some people coming over to my house. We're gonna be meeting at my house every Wednesday uh, and we're gonna be having dinner, which kind of concerned me at first because I'm like, oh shoot, like what if there's not gonna be food for me? But fortunately she sent out just like a <laughs> listing on DoorDash of uh, what restaurant she's gonna get food from so that we could look through and kind of get our orders in. Since it's at my house, I really could have like cooked my own food, but it's a Thai place. And so I ordered something with like tofu, eggplant, and basil, which should probably be delicious. I love eggplant tofu. dishes will work well within your macro plan or what, however you're eating so that you can be prepared um, and so you don't accidentally go off your plan just because you get caught off guard. Yeah, I definitely need to get home, straighten up my, my apartment before people come over. Um, so I don't know when my next update today will be, but... I'll definitely update you guys before I go to sleep. I know I'm getting dinner in like just over an hour, but I'm hungry and I forgot that I packed these almonds for a snack. So they're already in my pit and fall, so I'm eating them. And I may or may not have this spiced pear and fig oat milk yogurt. Cause this is really good. Also, I'm suddenly feeling very overwhelmed at the idea of all these people coming to my apartment tonight. But it's gonna be okay. I also feel like I need a nap, but I also need to, you know, clean the apartment too. So, overall, I just need to kind of take a chill pill. Even just eating those almonds, I think, helped calm me down a bit. Cause I think I was getting a little hangry even. I just needed a snack and I am eating the yogurt but I didn't feel like getting up and getting a spoon so please don't judge me okay so I got the apartment clean things are looking good ready for people to come over starting to calm down a little bit this is my remnants of dinner as you can see, there's some tofu and eggplant still left over. Very delicious. Um, and yeah, I think I'm gonna, just gonna have it tracked with the Panda Express estimate because it seems pretty similar to that that I've had before. Um, unfortunately, it's already nine o'clock. Yeah, I'm over 100 calories short of my minimum goal. I'm at like 1430 something. Um, so to hit my minimum of 1550, I gotta have something so I think it's more important for me to have enough like to meet my minimum calories and meet my protein than to uh, not eat after 8 o'clock because yeah I just had people here till 9 o'clock so I couldn't really just like go make a protein shake because we were all talking and it would have been weird you know so I am going to make a protein shake now even though it's 9 o'clock and it's have that and that should that'll push me up um, to my calorie goal and to my protein goal. Uh, 
I don't know if it's just me, but protein shakes are so delicious and I could just drink them all the time. I know so many people who are like, oh, I can't stand the taste of them and they taste like cardboard. And honestly, I think they taste delicious. <laughs> and seriously, adding powdered peanut butter to it, to the chocolate stuff, it just, it's so perfect. Uh, yeah, let's go recap. Overall, I feel good about today. Um, I was definitely pretty sore today, which I was not really expecting. I think it might have to do with going on the elliptical for half an hour yesterday, just because I haven't been on an elliptical for probably about six months. So for macros, uh, today I had 133 grams of carbs, I had 85 grams of fat, which had 110 grams of protein. I drank about the same amount of water, 170 some fluid ounces, uh, and this morning my weigh-in was 178.2. My body fat percentage was 23.8. I slept for seven hours and 15 minutes and I got 13,000 steps. So we're doing good. Day two, still going strong. Um, honestly, I'm pretty tired though and I kind of just want to wash off my makeup and go sleep. Bro, oh, thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to continue on this journey with me through the month of October. I'm going to be posting every single day. Kind of overwhelming, but we'll get through it. Bye guys.